sky's the limit when it comes to state's technological aviation advances. The school launched Canada's first uncrewed aviation training center, which gives students the opportunity to train and become certified in operating remotely piloted aircraft systems. This expansion to the School of Transportation will be within state's applied research and innovation services. Albertans and Canadians in general are going to have a chance to participate in what is the leading edge technology in terms of drones and the expansion of how those drones are going to utilize. One of the features Ross is most excited about is the remote community medical supply drop-off. The long-range drones can carry up to 55 pounds, which will be useful for on-the-field emergency situations. And it was from there that it lit up. What else can you do with it? That remoteness, that ability to get into situations that humans couldn't get to either at all or in a timely way became critical. They also awarded three women as the first three females in Canada to be able to operate the heavy lift drones. They each got their certification from SAIT to operate the aircraft and will now teach future pilots how to as instructors at SAIT. And then sometimes we had to work in a dark space area because of the sensors and then the data that we are getting, we have no visions and there are a lot of barriers around us and then because of safety, is the most important part in the drone. We have to consider everything. Not only is this a big accomplishment for SAIT on a provincial level, but on a global scale, partnering with the Swiss. SAIT has been getting many phone calls from different organizations that want to be a part of this big project. For SAIT Newsfile, I'm Ella Matt.